Hey, Trimiko here. So it is a Saturday and we have a couple of baptisms that we're gonna be doing on today. So they should be arriving probably in the next hour and a half, but the gather team is already in the house and so we're gonna go ahead and get the pool filled. I did get some questions on showing the entire process, if I could show the entire process of all the effort it takes to actually get the pool filled as well as drain the pool. And I know that's important to see if you yourself um, will be doing baptisms and have a portable pool. So um, I will get that now because we're getting ready to go ahead and get the pool filled. So let's go. All right. So here is some of the gather team here. Hello. And we are getting ready to head downstairs. Downstairs. Downstairs now. <laughs> ah, and get the pool filled. So let's go. Okay, so I'm here with Andrew and we are going to fill the pool. So uh, what we need to do first is go ahead and grab the holes, hook that. I just hook it up to the shower in my basement. Um, and we're gonna lay the mats out. So of course, as people are getting out of the pool or whatever like that and dripping wet, uh, my floor doesn't get wet. So we'll go ahead and start filming the whole process so you can see that. Andrew has the holes and it's his first time actually getting everything prepared for the baptism. I didn't even know it was a shower down. Yes. So this is, oops, sorry y'all. Uh... Okay. So, so what you're going to do is, take this of one. course, yep, connect it right here to the okay. end of the hole. All right. So now go ahead, grab that and we're just going to put it Okay. In the pool. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have Andrew just kind of film me. I'm gonna get these black mats that I have here. I have about four of them and kind of lay those out so that it tracks going into the bathroom so that people don't get wet. And of course, the the um holes will be moved once we fill the pool. So I'm gonna start off taking this one and just into the bathroom and just one minute. So that's pretty much it. So now this is laid out. So we have a big mat already underneath the pool as they step out and these other mats, which is specially designed to catch water, will catch the water. So while he's still filming, I'm just gonna go into the shower and turn on the water. And because again, we like to do bat baptisms with warm water, I'm just gonna first set it to as hot as the water gets, turn it all the way up to hot, fill it, in about six or seven minutes, the hot water is gonna run out and it'll be about a third fill. And then once that runs out, I'm gonna wait for about an hour for the hot water to refill, put a bit more hot water, and then from there, just fill it all with cold water, and then that should be it. So normally it takes about 15 minutes to fill this size pool, but again, because I like to fill it with warm water, it takes me longer just because the hot water runs out after about seven or six minutes or so. So let's go do that. So that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna like curl this in the pool so I don't have to stand here. And it'll just go ahead and fill. Um, and then from there, that's pretty much it. We'll just keep turning the water on and off till it's filled. We'll film the baptisms. And then after that, we'll show you what that process looks like as far as draining all of the water out of the pool and just doing the cleanup. So see you soon. So where we went to get our pool is called portablebaptistry.com. I will put that information in the description box where we bought our pool from. And we actually got the Portable Baptism Junior Pool. 
So with that pool is four by six, is four, I'm gonna say this wrong, it's four six by 25. So it's 25 inches deep and four um, six going across. Okay, so it takes about, it's saying 10 to 15 minutes by one person to set it up because we have the junior. They actually have a bigger one that's not portable. This one is portable because we can actually like break it down roll it up and transfer it to another location and just set it all up so one person can actually set this up and it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to set it up one to two people can actually um sit in here not during a baptism but you can have like one person being baptized and one person get in it's saying it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to fill it and about 25 minutes to drain it which we will be showing you that process um and this can fit in the back seat of someone's car so the full price with taxes that i paid on this was 994 dollars. so basically it's about a thousand dollars it is a really good investment um and the shipping on that is about 95 dollars to have it shipped to you so within that 994 dollars that includes that 95 dollars shipping fee but i mean we got this pool about a year ago and we've been doing a ton of baptisms it's still the quality of it is very good we have not had any problems with this at all i will say just um because i'm not that strong um i do need a second person to help me in setting it up if you're a male you could probably easily set this up by yourself if you're a woman you may need an extra person just to kind of help you um, with the setup of this so i typically leave it set up in my basement and i don't take it down because i know we're always doing baptisms but that's just some information on this particular model of pool and again i will leave it down in the description box if you want to check it out and get going with doing your baptisms you could easily as well do an inflatable blow up pool if you want to but again for our ministry we had to think about like winter time because we're in detroit area it gets really cold things of that nature and so we can't always just easily do a blow up pool in my house and then easily drain the water out that was not feasible so this is very good although it may be a bit pricey um it it takes care of you being able to drain also with the pool it comes with this liner as well as the pump that you would put in here to drain the pool as well as a couple of like filters that you can use for the water and things of that nature so i mean for the price i did my research do your research at the end of the day after doing all my research this was the best option for our ministry and our budget and so we went with that but again if your budget is really small do what you can um you can use a tub or whatever like that but again sometimes if you have a taller person or something like that the tub may not be big enough so we just wanted to make sure we had something to accommodate most people that we were baptized so with that said i'm going to continue filling the pool um just cap it off with more water and then by that time the person that's going to be baptized should be here i am going to just make sure that this is wrapped all the way in here especially if i'm by myself because when i go turn the water on the the hose is not going to like jump out of the pool and wet all the floor in my basement trust me i learned the hard way <laughs> so i know what to do and what not to do so this time i am going to start off with just the hot water um and then i'm going to probably switch it to just cold because i think we may have enough hot water but i want to put a little bit more and then we will fill it with the rest cold water and then by that point everything should be pretty warm not like too hot but warm it's about one third fill so we still have a lot of room to go to fill this pool and it should be done hopefully within the next 10 minutes or so, so we'll be back I'm also getting ready to just set out the towels because again, when they get out the pool, they're gonna need towels to kind of dry off. And then when they go, and it's a great thing I got a, a bathroom in my basement because they can just go right in, dry off and change their clothes. So um, um, I went to Sam's in my local area and just bought a bunch of huge beach towels because they're really big and long. So it's very great for, again, sopping up that water when they get out the pool. So I'm just gonna grab a few towels. And I usually do about like two each. And I am going to grab 
a swim cap. Some people don't want their hair to get wet. Some people don't care. So I believe one of the individuals getting baptized will prefer a swim cap. So we purchase towels and we purchase swim caps. Again, we're a ministry, so we just want to make sure we have everything on hand. Um, again, this all of this may not be necessary if you're just doing it at home, but you will need towels for the person to dry off. And we always tell the person that's coming to bring the change of clothes that they're going to get baptized in so they're not leaving with their clothes wet. So we usually tell them um, if they're a woman, bring a t-shirt, maybe a sports bra and some shorts um, to put on. And they can either bring socks or not. It's up to them. For the men, t-shirt, shorts, and again, socks if they prefer. If they don't, they don't have to. But again, that's what they're getting baptized in. Then when they get out the pool, they can go dry off, take all of those wet clothes off, put the clothes on that they came with. That way they're leaving dry without their clothes being wet. So just some things to think about because I know sometimes going through that process, you don't know what things you need to think about when doing the baptism and to tell the person that's going to get baptized if you're scheduling that, if it's on the spot, you know, you just do what you need to do. Um, but if it's scheduled, those are some pre cursor things you can tell them just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Now we just want to show you the level that we took the water in the pool. So as you can see, it's about right here. So that way it gives enough room for people's body weight to go in without spilling over onto the floor and to be able to comfortably take them down and bring them up. Um, today we're just going to do a baptism with a woman and her son, which is a child. So this level is perfectly fine. If you have someone that's bigger in size or what have you, again, you'll just have to judge that um but this is typically the level that we take the water in the pool so we'll be back next time with praying over the water to bless it and then doing the baptisms so. all right so what we're getting ready to do before we actually go through with the baptism we just like to pray over the water just to bless it consecrate it set it apart for god's use so radasia is getting ready to say that prayer just in case if you're curious if you want to say a prayer over the water before you do the baptism what that would sound like and again you Pray as the Lord leads you, um, but Rodasia is just getting ready to pray over the water as the Lord leads her. All right, Lord, we consecrate this water for you. Um, we pray that it will loose every single demon attached to the people who are getting baptized in the water today. We pray that um, any spirits that may be attached to it right now be broken and we ca uh, cast them away right now in Jesus' name. Um, we speak that any demon that is trying to even be in this presence right now, um, must leave right now. We consecrate this whole space for you right now, Lord. And we pray that you will continue to guide us as we do the baptism today in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Uh, if you want to cross this other arm back like this way. Yep. 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 Okay, so. Adriana. 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 Okay. I now baptize you in Jesus' name. For the remission of your sins. Christ. Take her all the way down. Why is it crying? Wait, you don't have to dunk her harder because yeah. she needs to go down. You can't, oh, like, lightly. She didn't go all the way down. Oh, you so, okay. go all the way down. Okay. Here. I don't want to say it like that, but act like you body slamming someone and just take her down. Okay. Yeah. You want to guide me through it? Okay, yeah. So that way yeah. you know, like, right. how fast. So don't let go, okay? okay. So we just going to do it again, okay? We're going to say down with Christ right Go ahead. Right, got it. Yeah. Okay. Quick, yeah. Is he up far enough? So when you take him down, make sure you scoot him up enough. Is that position? And you shall now receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Die with Christ. And then there's more towels uh, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a fun bath going? Did you have a fun, warm bath? Some quick, huh? Like, where was my toys? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the 
Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Don't. I did that with his brother. Okay. Don't beat yourself. No, he was, his so niece was we're all students technically in the kingdom, and we always learning. Cause I just yeah. learned something new, which was we should have started over, which is totally fine. Like it's we make mistakes. Like it's okay. But you did a good job, and you did a good job with the kids. I was like, oh. so when you go down to baptize someone, you want to make sure you dunking them. So not slow motion. So you know how you were like, it was like slow motion, and her body was not fully in there. Her elbows were out, her knees were out. She wasn't fully submerged. So you want to make sure she's fully submerged and take her down. I know you're a guy. You said, <laughs> you said that you want to make sure you're not hurting her anything like that but you're not you let her know like i'm going to submerge you in the water and you the faster you go the easier someone will come up out the water because they're not floating around or anything like that just like when i stepped in mm -hmm. and i took her hand on like i took her um her arm and then you saw how or felt how like we took her down really fast and then brought her up you saw how easy that was mm -hmm. it was like it wasn't hard to bring her back up because we did it really really fast um the word is velocity the faster you do it the velocity is there for someone to actually go down and come back up quickly and easily than if you go slower so well, anyway, overall, good job, yeah though. great job it was, mm -hmm. it was really good so now what we're getting ready to do is drain the pool. We've done the baptisms. So we're just going to show you what that process looks like with this portable pool on how to drain it. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do now is grab the hose. And with the hose, we're going to have to connect it to um, the, what is this? It's called a Pondy. Sur submersible pump. Yes. So this is the pump that we're using to drain the pool. And let me actually just take that out. I'm sorry, and this actually came with the pool, so I didn't have to go out and buy this. So basically, you'll see, I'm just gonna drop this into the pool after I connect the holes right here and just plug it up. And it'll take about 25 minutes for the pool to drain. Then once the pool drains as much water as possible, there's usually still some water left in there. And we're just gonna show you the best technique that we figured out how to get that water out. Now what Andrew is going to do is just screw the holes into the pump. Okay, so now he's what he's gonna do is just throw that entire thing into the pool. Yes. And the cord, don't worry about it, it can go in because it's for a pump. And now once you plug up the pump, he's Andrew's gonna plug the pump up it will start to pump. Make sure the hose is in the tub. We're gonna take the other end of the hose and put it in my laundry sink, just because it's deep enough to coil the hose and make sure that it can run down the drain. So we're just gonna coil it like so. And that should be good enough so once the water starts to pump and flow through the holes it won't fall out of the sink so you can go ahead and plug in the pump and as soon as he does that we see the bubbles because it's starting to pump the water out and we just leave the pump standing up like that and it'll just begin to suck all the water you can see how the water is gushing out strongly that's what you want to see and so this is going to take about 25 minutes so once this is done and it gets as much water as possible with the pump again there's still water that's going to be in there and we'll show you how we deal with that um, and then that'll be it okay so now that the water is pretty much drained get a shot you can still see there is still water left in the pool and the pump can't suck all that out so now what we're gonna do, um, Radeja said the smartest thing to do is to just grab the sides of the pool and push all the water towards the pump. And then it'll start to suck it. And as you can see, it's reaching the height of the base of the pump to suck it out. Um, and like Radeja said earlier, we may not have caught it on video, this has saved us at least 15 minutes because other than that, we were taking the wet back 
and trying to vacuum all of this water up and we had to do it in several trips so this is much easier okay so as you can see it's at the end it's at the end so this is all that pretty much we can get out so what we're going to do now is take the water vacuum the shock vac and get this pit um this bit up and then we'll lay this back out and clean it with bleach and rags and that'll be it if there's any water it'll pour out we can unplug it now What you want to do is make sure each part of the hose ends up being vertical so the water can continue to go down. And you can even see once you get to a different part, water comes out of here. Type of shot bit. And no, we are not sponsored by that. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're just going to get towels and bleach and clean everything off, and then we'll be done. So I'm just gonna spray the rags as well as the pool and we're just gonna clean it out. We try to get into the crevices of the pool where it creates a seal at the bottom with the plate that's under it and we do that because dirt can build up in it even if you see the pool it looks super clean once you put the water in it it'll reveal itself so try to like dig really far into the crevices to make sure there's no extra dirt and now we're just going to dry it off And that's it. That's how we, after the baptisms, um, drain all the water and clean the pool off and have it ready for the next baptism. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped. I wish I had a video like this when I bought this pool to see exactly what that process was like. And I just had to like learn through mistakes, but hopefully you can watch this video and catch on really quickly. You get to a little tired too. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> I need a nap. <laughs> so until next time, see you later.